Domestic abuse cases and charges are on the rise in Iowa City this year. And though police aren't sure why that's happening, CBS2 News reporter Brittany Borgie says they do have a unique way to help those victims. Brittany. Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, the Iowa City Police Department says its full-time domestic violence investigator is one of just four in his kind in all of Iowa. And though the position has been in place since 1997, those who help dom domestic abuse victims in the community say they need the officer more than ever. That's the, probably the most special thing about Iowa City. Uh, there's only a few of me out there. So few that domestic violence investigator Scott Stevens says he's taken calls from victims in the Quad Cities who just happened to get his name and need help getting out of an abusive relationship. He follows up with every victim every time police respond to a domestic violence call. We may get a case that seems fairly common verbal argument between two people. And when I, when I call, when I ask the question, are you safe, if I don't get an immediate, yeah, everything's fine. Then I need to ask some more questions and go from there. Stevens has been asking more questions these days. Iowa City Police typically respond to three or four hundred domestic cases in a year. Through April of 2014, however, there have already been 200 cases. Historically, it's becoming more prevalent, and I think maybe it's just becoming more reported. Stevens sends many victims to DVIP, the Domestic Violence Intervention Program, where their women and children's shelter is almost always full. Due to state budget cuts, DVIP now serves eight counties instead of four, and the time people can stay in the shelter has been cut in half. Programs in the state have had to be very creative as far as how do we still make sure that needs are being met? How can we still provide access to counseling, to advocacy, to shelter when it's needed? Despite that, both DVIP and Stevens want people to know if they need help, call. Whether it's kids, money, transportation, we can work with that. We just need people to be safe. DVIP has a 24-hour hotline that victims can call for help. Stevens also says victims should sign up for the Iowa Vine, a service that tells them if an offender gets let out of jail. You can find both of those numbers on our website. Covering the corridor, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News.